Okay, family, so I'm about to do a wash and go uh, Eco West set with uh, Eco Styler Argon Oil. I don't know if you can see that. But um, this container was $2.35, much cheaper than the $20, $25, however much dollar uh, kinky curly that I've tried in the past that didn't work. So um, I just got out the shower. This is my hair with no product on it absolutely at all so you can kind of get a feel for how it is this is I mean it's still dripping wet I mean I dried it a little bit with the towel but um, that's it so I'm only going to be using um, three things I'm going to be using my kinky curly not today leave-in conditioner I'm going to be using this is a little bit of um, shea butter melted with like a tablespoon of olive oil just to give it a little runny consistency and obviously the gel so hopefully this will work on my hair um wash it goes and me don't work hold on a second i forgot my comb okay so i'm gonna do the back first and i'm just gonna do conditioner first and i'm just gonna take it i'm very generous with my conditioner you know it's like 105 degrees in texas so in the summertime um, so that's about how much I'm going to put on a section. In the summertime, I really like to have my hair very well moisturized and sealed in. Um, I did a co-wash just because I'm trying to use up some old, old conditioners or whatever. And my hair wasn't that dirty. So I'm just now getting back into co-washing. When my hair was um, shorter, I did co-washing a lot. So I, I pretty much doubled the amount. I would already detangled in the shower. And so, so here's my hair with conditioner on it. If you can see it, there it is. So I'm gonna go through my whole head and then I'll come back and show you how I get started on the process of adding the, um, the gel. Okay, bye. Okay, family, so I'm back and I've gone through my head and I've added my um, not today leave-in conditioner and my shea butter and olive oil mix just a little bit and I've just twisted it and I've gone ahead and parted it uh, so it'll be easier for me to apply the gel so just kind of wanted to show you that's my hair and then I'm just gonna pin the sections that I'm not doing out of place kind of tucking the ends in so they'll stay moist And no, I am not naked for all those pervs out there. Okay. So I'll show you the first section. I'm a little nervous, y'all, because, you know, me and wash and go. So I'm just going to pin that up. I'm going to open up the hair. I've got my Denman brush just in case. And let's go for it so my hair is a little on the thick side in case you haven't noticed and so I'm gonna take a substantial amount probably like about like that if you can see it and just gonna just gonna take each part of the twist and run it down I'm just afraid my hair is gonna turn white that's my only concern and then I'm just gonna do a little extra on the ends probably not gonna rake through like a lot of people do because I really want an elongated curl. You see what I'm saying? Coming in at the root and then right at the end. So same thing, substantial amount. And I'm just gonna run it through. If I feel the need to rake it through, I will. I'm expecting to get sort of a short curly fro is what I'm thinking I'm going to get so really good curl definition so far if you can see it I really don't want to touch it too much after I've put the gel on it you can see it is starting to turn white but hopefully that won't be a major issue 
Okay, family, so I'm almost done, but as you can see, um, I've got it on. Um, you can kind of see my curl pattern with gel. So to just let you know, my curl pattern is extremely tight um, without any product. And I've got my part here. I need to rub some of that in. And I'm just going to show you um, just from a front view so you can kind of see what it is that I'm doing. So I want relatively small, medium-sized sections like this. In the front, I'm using a substantial amount of gel just because I really want it to hang. And I'm really trying to get in at the root so it won't be super puffy at the front. And as you can see, it'll start to separate on its own, but later I'm definitely going to shake it. I don't want to shake it, but I know I need to shake it. Shake what your mama gave you. Okay, no. But, um, yeah. So you see, it's already starting to split. So I'm just going to let it split. Okay, family, I'm back. So I shook it, and with the part, it was going to mess. So I just kind of gelled it down in the front and uh, brushed it a little bit. So um, this is kind of the look that I'm going for kind of like a curly fro and um, we shall see homies <sighs> I don't know anyway so um, I'll come back and show you what it's looking like when it's dry and so it's been like <laughs> four or five hours um, my hair is still like I wouldn't say damp at the root like wet like put my fingers in it and it's and it's wet and um I had put on a little headband before because when I shook it it just wasn't going right and this is the result I I am just convinced that my hair is like we don't like a wash and go because this is not the shape that I started with I think this is just how my hair is cut from way back when I did my big chop. I am not loving it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it one more try. That was my last try. So luckily it wasn't an expensive product, but if you kind of want to see it close up, I don't know if you can really see it. Um, I'm recording this in HD. So if you're not watching in HD, you know, you might want to try, see if you can see what you can see. Um, yeah. Not loving it. So, um, I was going to put it in a puff, but I said, no, let me come on first and show you guys. Ow, that's my chair. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, it's really crispy because I put a lot of gel on it. But I really just think that either I don't like the way wash and goes look or my hair shape is just not conducive to wash and goes I mean the curl definition is great you know what I mean I just have a really really I mean an extremely tight curl pattern that just it doesn't matter you could put car oil on this stuff it's just not gonna hang I think I need like a couple more years worth of length um, to really get it to do what I want to do because at at two years it's just not so anyway that's it no need for me to take pictures um, I'm probably going to wash this out because it's just super crispy and do another style that I have planned on I mean I might sleep on it see if it gets any bigger like stretching it like this um, not loving it alright y'all <laughs> I'll see you in my next video I'm done with the washing goes peace